Okay, um, I'm sick right now, so if I sound kind of disgusting in this video, I'm just gonna apologize for that. I know I'm unbelievably late to this party, but right before Christmas, I queued up Stardew Valley on my Xbox for the very first time, and my life was instantly changed. It's such a sweet, immersive game. The farming, the town, the trauma. But yeah, I love this game a whole lot, and I do not hate these character designs at all, mostly, but I do just think they could be a little more interesting and, you know, like, less dated, I think. Most of them have designs that are majorly two or three important colors made up of their hair and their top. And I have no problem with having a simple, small color scheme, but I think it would be nicer if they just added more shades and tints. Anyway, for this video, I will be redesigning my top four favorite Stardew Valley marriage candidates. See if you can guess who my number one is. Uh, starting with number four, we've got Harvey. I love this man. He is a sweetie pie. He's such a silly little goober. He has a sad little story about giving up his childhood dreams, and he killed a man. I just really like him. I know compared to some of the other storylines, he might seem a little bit bare bones, but I just love him. He's really easy to make friends with too because he loves coffee, and like all you have to do is buy one from the saloon, or if you have a keg and coffee beans, you can literally make it yourself. I uh, thought his 10 heart event was really sweet. I like the hot air balloon, and he's just, you know, he's just a silly little guy. I just like softer characters a lot. Most of these characters have really harsh and upsetting inner conflicts, and Harvey obviously has conflicts of his own, but he's just very relaxing to talk to compared to a lot of the other characters. Also, I just think it's funny that once you have eight hearts with him, he's just like head over heels in love with you. I love stringing them on, it gives me a sick sort of high. For this design, I didn't really change anything about him, actually. I think I just, like, toned down his colors a bit. Like, one thing about Concerned Ape's art style in the original game is the very, very saturated colors. So I think that will actually be the biggest difference in all of these designs that I do. Uh, I did make his hair curlier, and I also gave him crow's feet because I just- I love the way they look. Like, if I see someone with crow's feet, I have a higher emotional attraction to that person instantly. Like, I just think they're adorable, and even though they can come from a lot of things, my first thought is always that person smiles a lot. And like, I don't know, I just think they're cute. Also, I gave him a little sweater vest and a coffee mug, but uh, that's about it. Here he is. I love him. Number three, Abigail. She has purple hair and she eats rocks. What's not to love? I feel like her story kind of ends on a note that implies she has a lot more ahead of her, which I wish we got to see, but she also killed a man. I love when people kill a man. She's super fun and her dialogue is really silly and she just has that air about her that she's a bit of a kook. I just- I love that she wants to be an adventurer and, you know, since she's lived in Pelican Town her whole life, it makes sense that she'd just be seeking something more. She's just a silly little girly who wants to kill things and play video games. I love her. Oh, also she plays drums and so do I, so I've got bias here. For her design, I wanted to make her, like, more buff, I guess. I know she probably doesn't actually practice a lot because like her dad's insane but I just yeah I just wanted to make her buff so yeah I did change up her outfit a bit but she still kind of looks the same or similar I guess I kept her little jest I gave her some fishnets under her shorts because she's alternative and I made her shoes like adventure fantasy boots because I just personally think the fact that they look so out of place with the rest of her outfit makes it look more Abigail I took away her hair bow because I just thought it didn't suit her but I did put that pop of light green in other places. I gave her a little necklace and some piercings and I painted her nails and I gave her purple makeup because she's goth. I also decided to make her hair shorter and like, I guess just rougher around the edges. I made her roots showing as well. Also, you know the line where Caroline's like, she'd be prettier with her natural hair, right? And Caroline literally has green hair. Like, girl, what? I could say a lot of things right now actually about Caroline and the wizard and a possible curse from the witch to disprove my green hair thing, but I'm just not going to get into that. Here's Abby, I think she looks adorable. Number two, Sam. Okay, so Sam is actually my top character regarding marriage. Like if I was to get married in this game, I would probably choose Sam because you get this sweet little acoustic song in his 14 heart cutscene if you do. And also he's just such a goober. I genuinely enjoy like his dialogue. Just character-wise, though, if we're being friends with everyone, he's not my top top, though. I do love this man to death. He is so fun and silly. 
And also, I just, I don't know, I have a soft spot for musician characters, so I just liked his storyline immediately. He's just such a sweet character. Like, I just, I like that he really cares about his family and his dreams, and he has, like, really admirable optimism. And for his design, I had, like, doodled it a lot before in my sketchbook. Like, I went in with Sam knowing what I wanted to do, so I had no issue getting down what I wanted for his sketch on paper. So I made him buff and snatched. I know he's a guitar player, by and large, but he has a drum set in his room, and on his description, it says he also plays drums. Like, do you know how much upper body strength you'd have to have to play drums for an experimental noise rock band? I know there are other music options for Sam's band, but that's the correct one, so... Uh, I made his skin a little tanner because he spends a lot of time outside. And as far as designs go, I think he's probably the farthest deviation from the original. So, uh, you know, you know Sam's hair? It's, uh, it's bad. The shape of it leads me to believe or leads me to pretend to believe because I want to that he has one of those like crazy 80s rock star mullets so I gave him one and after I did that I decided I wanted to go like the route of full 80s metal kid but also just put some elements of grunge here and there because I guess I don't know I guess that's my favorite aesthetic I gave him a ripped up jean jacket and a crop top with acid washed pants to bring the rock star into it and I made his pants all dirty and gave him some fucked up converse and gauges for the grunge bit. I painted his nails and gave him a shit ton of piercings because I'm physically incapable of not drawing that sometimes. I gave him colored pins all over his jacket because he's silly and fun. And I slapped a bunch of rubber bands on his wrist because of that one dialogue where he says he puts one on every time he needs to remember to do something. ADHD King, I love him. Here he is. And lastly, my number one top favorite character in all of Stardew Valley, Emily. She's not as popular as some of the other marriage candidates, and like, I genuinely don't know why. She's just really fun to talk to, her cutscenes are amazing and hilarious, and she's got blue hair. I genuinely think she's a witch, like, she's obsessed with crystals and she talks to birds and she has premonitions of the future in her trippy-ass dreams. She doesn't have, like, a turmoil-based storyline like some of the other marriage candidates, so there isn't a whole lot of depth, I guess. But I personally don't think that's a problem. She's just like fun to be around. Her six heart cutscene is my favorite thing in the entire game. I love her silly little dance. She's so cute and fun and honestly just like a lot kinder than a lot of the other people in Pelican Town. A lot of them are really condescending when you first meet them and like don't get me wrong getting to know them is 100% worth it. I just like that she has a sort of nice ditzy disposition. But she definitely knows everything about you right away. Look into those terrifying eyes. Anyway, for her design, I decided to make it more of like a witch hippie grunge style. She makes her own clothes, so I figured they'd just be a little bit more fun and individual than what she originally wears. I kept the red for her outfit as the main color, but I toned it down to make it look softer. And I added gold stars and constellations to her skirt because I just, I don't know, I just like stars. I gave her the moon and star motifs all over to keep that nice continuity in the design though. I also made her boots blue, but specifically modeled after this pair of blue suede shoes that I have owned since I was 12. The soles came out and the heel broke off, so I literally can't wear them anymore, but I still have them and I'm keeping them forever and they're still my favorite pair of shoes I have ever owned. I actually, I think my favorite thing about this design is how bright and contrasting her hair looks with the rest of her. I just think that's so very Emily in my opinion. I made her roots showing too because what's the point of drawing a character with dyed hair if you can't show that they need to redo it? I thought about making them blonde to match her sister Haley, but I settled on brown because I really didn't think the blonde eyebrows looked good with the design. I also changed her eyes from like maroon to brown. And I think this is my favorite design of the bunch. Uh, yeah, that's all four of them. I love them all so much. They are my baby girls. I'm not done with Stardew Valley yet though. I'm aiming right now to redesign every character in the game, even the non-marriage candidates. That might be a bit overzealous, but I think I can do it because like, I'm pretty sure there's like 40 characters in the game. But yeah, I'll, I'll be starting with the marriage candidates, doing them four at a time. So I'll have two more videos on the marriage candidates to finish them up and then we'll just see where we go from there. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I'm asking you to like and subscribe because the YouTube algorithm is a meanie. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs>